of y'all, hey, tell me why it's so ghetto that you got to cook in the week of Thanksgiving and cook Thanksgiving dinner. Anyway, y'all see these beans. Y'all could probably tell what I'm about to make because this family always hungry. They always hungry. Some chili. This is my grandmama's pot. I'm just playing. I got it from a thrift store and I broke the handle. I've had it for a very long time. It's my trusty pot. It's my stew pot. It's my chili making pot. Anyway, I'm going to empty these cans of beans. I'm going to add some water with a can. You see these vegetarian with beans chili? Yes, Hormel does make it. I also added some seasoned tomatoes. Dropped the top. Picked it up. Picked it out. And I'm going to add these white beans. These northern beans to this. And I'm going to stir it up. I'm going to add a full cup of water. Yes, I have a measuring cup. Did I feel like digging it out? No, I do not. No, I did not. So I added a full cup of water here. Yes, just like this to thin it out because I like a soupy chili. I like a soup. I don't want it to start off thick like that, but this water or the chili's broth will thicken up. I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic powder and some onion dried onion flakes now i am trying to decide if i should use the big beef knot strips or the beef knot ground i decided to go with a bit of both i only caught myself or recorded myself using the ground but i also use the other one it looks just like meat and it's not that high in sodium, actually, guys. It's only like five milligrams. So when you're trying to thicken up your sauce or your broth with beans, all you have to do is crush them along the side of your pot like this here. And before you know it, your gravy will be looking like this. All right, so it's done. Okay, it didn't take long at all. I tried to fancy up my plate, but it's a paper plate. My rice is in the spam mold. Not really, but it is a cute little mold I have. And this is some chili. I'm going to add some cheese to this. And it's done. Now, you know my bowl was bigger than this. But this is a nice little bite size. It's good. All right? You should try it for yourself. Perfect meal for a cold night. For a family real quick. When you don't want to make a lot. Because you're cooking a lot this week. Cooking cornbread tonight. But they won't have that. They'll be eating crackers.